Grüße aus London zusammen. Hello everybody. Well, I wanted to do a quick video today to show you inside my weekly German workouts course. Enrollment for Team July 2020 is open this week, only until the end of this Friday, the 3rd of July at midnight London time. I'll be closing the gates again and then we kick off for nine weeks, which has the potential, if you put in the effort, to take your German up into intermediate. This is a course aimed at German students who are what I'd call advanced beginners or A2 on the common European framework of reference. And if you're ready this summer to take action, to move yourself up to the next level, particularly with your listening skills, your vocab and your knowledge of language patterns, this could be the thing for you. Now I'm going to share my screen and show you the inside of the course area. Here we are then inside. Now, the idea of the course is that you have very clear steps. Each week there's a routine which involves material being released on a staggered basis. One of the things I wanted to do was to enable people to focus so they don't get overwhelmed with all the material. So, at the start of each week, you will get an audio MP3 recording. It's a conversation between native German speakers, a man and a woman. It's quite short, about three or four minutes long on average. And if we have a look in week one, you'll see here it is, the audio here. And if we just have a quick less listen here, Ich habe ein Jobangebot in Berlin bei einer großen Werbeagentur. Ich weiß, dass dir deine Stelle weniger Spaß macht als früher. Aber warum denn ausgerechnet in Berlin? Bewirbst du dich schon um andere Stellen? This is conversational German. The idea is on Monday then, when you've got the audio, that you simply listen, but listen intensively. So I would want you to listen several times until you've made out everything that you can. And then you could do maybe a dictation exercise. That's quite hard work, actually, to really put down on paper then what you've heard or what you think you've heard. There'll probably be some gaps. I don't want you to understand everything. If you do, the course is probably too easy for you. But then at the end of Monday, you've had a lot of listening practice and you'll be becoming aware of things that you don't understand. And you might already have ideas as to why that is. Once you've completed, you can uh, click done. Uh, on the on the uh, curriculum list at the side and then wait for tomorrow on Tuesday when you get and we look next at these if I can go back you will get the transcripts and if I click into these you get a German only transcript of everything that was said in the audio you can see that here again you can download this print it out and I'd encourage you to do that and then you also get a, an English-German parallel translation, Deutsch-English, which is here. So that then you can compare across. Now you can correct what you heard from the German-only text, but with the help of this parallel text, you can start to work across and decipher the bits that you simply couldn't understand, even when you saw them printed in German. And that could be because it's new vocabulary or because it's a new structure that you don't know. Now, I've built this course with very careful reference to the Goethe Institute B1 exam syllabus. So we're focusing in on some of the key structures. I've called this a B1.1 course. So the bulk of the key structures, but not all of them, that you need for the Goethe B1 exam. This is certainly not an exam preparation course and we don't cover all the structures and you certainly would need a lot more practice if you're starting at A2 before you went for the B1 exam, if that's something that's interesting for you. But this course could certainly be a way to move yourself decisively in that direction at the first half of that journey, perhaps. Let's go back to the syllabus. On Wednesday, you get what I've called the Wirt Labor, which is the vocabulary laboratory. And here again, you get another PDF and key new words are explained. This is all in German to really get you into the German way of thinking and doing things. So you find explanations of key words, things I think that you might not know. 
although you of course may have underlined other words that you don't know from your dictation exercise or from your reading of the transcripts and of course you can read them through on Tuesday with the audio because you've got both now and then the next step is to work through that vocab on Wednesday in the Wirt Labor. And then on Thursday the workout continues. Can you see how everything is broken down to avoid overwhelm to make sure that you've got one clear, quite demanding but clear task each day. On Thursday you get the Musterwerkstatt, the patterns, the patterns workshop and here you get explanations of the new grammar points and there are usually two major B1 grammar points introduced in each lesson. We cover things like the genitive case, the imperfect, we start to look at the conjunctive, many things such as uh, conjunctions as well that you need to build longer sentences in German at this level as you're expected to you know move beyond the most basic simple forms of expression that you had at the beginner level. So that explanation is as jargon free as possible focusing in on language patterns because I like to talk about patterns rather than grammar that is what you can use on the wing when you're speaking you can apply patterns you can't really try and remember and apply grammatical theory as you go that's certainly my experience now at the end of each Musterwerkstatt when you've worked through there are a series of Übungen exercises which you can either do in writing print out the page and do them in writing or you could even do them simply verbally into your phone's recording device for example voice recorder if you'd like to do it that way. There are quite a lot of exercises here, you don't have to do them all, just do as many as you want. If you find that you don't have time one week or less busy, you can put them on hold because you're going to have lifetime access to the material and come back to them later. So that's it, that's Monday to Thursday taken care of. And the final thing you can do in your workout each week on Friday is to correct the exercise if you've exercises if you've done them, those will come out. So let me show you those. Lösungen zu den Übungen. This is for Lektion 1. That's a rather shorter uh, PDF normally. A couple of pages. Just the ex don't don't look if you're going to get the course. Uh, there are the answers. Some are multiple choice. Some are fill in the gap sort of exercises. Things to get you actively interacting with the materials. Everything in this course is to encourage not just passive input and exposure but to get you actually doing things like elaborating, testing yourself and practicing spaced recall because I would encourage you for example to flashcard new vocabulary that you get uh, or you could actually do two-way translations for example over time to help consolidate the new materials that you're learning. You don't have to do that just lots and lots of repetition and working with the material will get you there eventually. And you can, in my experience, accelerate your learning if you're more interactive. And that's basically the weekly workout. You don't get any new material on Saturday and Sunday. The idea is that you can have a breather or you can, of course, review some of the material. And as you go through the course and you've got more units under your belt, that in particular is what you might want to do or you might find you've had a particularly busy week and you need to do some catching up. Now this course is nine weeks long and that's not an accident. I've chosen nine weeks because it's a good period of time for you to really move the needle on your German, but it's not so far into the future that you know it seems to be going on forever without end. So I think that's good motivationally and it also means that you can throw yourself you know, at a new level, we would expect at the end of the course, back into your wider exposure to German, listening, reading, talking to people too. Of course, I'd hope you'd keep doing that during the course as well. But this is a way to step back, if you were, to do a bit of conscious training, that's why I've called it a workout, uh, before you get back, as I put it, into the ring. Now, you'll have lots of help during the course. First of all, early on, pretty early on, you get three video trainings. I can show you one of them here and you get me um, talking you through uh, the materials. Because it's 
focuses on how the brain really works and what language really is. These video trainings are on average about 20 to 30 minutes long. The slides in PDF form are downloadable and they walk you through the contents and the methodology of the weekly German workouts. And then towards the end of the course, you get a final training video, the fourth one, which looks ahead to how you're going to take your German forward at the end of the course, at the end of the nine weeks, as you go back into action using your German more confidently, more independently. But there's more support than that, because I will be available for two Skype calls with each participant individually. Those are going to be 30 minutes in length, and we'll schedule one at a time convenient for both of us via Zoom or Skype at the beginning of the course to get clear on your motivation, your particular problems, and to make sure everything's working in terms of you, know, you, you finding your way around the course area and using the materials. And then towards the end of the course, we'll schedule a second one-to-one -one video call where we look at your experience, what you've got out of the course, but also look forward to how you're going to build German and more German into your life, to what problems and sticking points you still have, you know, materials you could use going forward, ideas for how you can get more German input and more practice speaking if you need it. Whatever you want to talk about, I'm here for you and I'll have my own ideas as well to give you a boost as the course comes to an end. Also, throughout the nine weeks, you will have my personal email support. You'll be able to fire emails to me and I will respond in person to any questions you've got about the course, any problems you've hit on with the materials, with aspects of German where you're struggling, or any other questions really you have about language learning methods and motivation. So that's it. That's what I've got for you. This could be the thing for you if you're ready to, to you know, do some real serious focused effort this summer to move your German to the next level. If you're fed up with dabbling or feeling that you're not making any progress, you're ready to do a workout and you, you've had enough of you know, quick fix promises of overnight solutions, this could be an interesting interactive way for you to take action with my help. So I've called it guided self-study. That's what I think it is. I've put together a great set of materials with some really good German teachers and the great voice artists who helped me with the audio as well. I'm very proud of it. I'd love to share the materials with you. If you'd like to join me on the course then you need to head over to the information and enrollment page. The link is in the information box under this video and you need to get yourself signed up by the end of this Friday, the 3rd of July, London time. And then we kick off on Monday the 6th of July through to the beginning of September. So you could be fighting fit, trained up and ready to go at a whole new level with your German in the autumn. Also then, machen Sie mit. Thank <laughs> you.